Hello everyone, this is Bradley. Today's tutorial is about a preset called the index seed. It provides multiple seeds from a single input. But uh, why is that important? Let's uh, start with a simple instancing setup. We're instancing Suzanne on a grid of points, and I've added random values for rotation and scales. Right away, you will notice something odd that uh, the larger Suzanne's are always facing the upper right corner and the smaller ones are facing the lower right. That's because both random value nodes are using the same ID and the seed. So they generate values that follow the same pattern. Sure, you can just manually change the seed of one of the nodes to break the correlation. But if you have a complex node tree with lots of random values, changing each one becomes tedious. More importantly, if you want all random values to be affected by a single global seed, you need to manually add and combine numbers across the graph, which gets messy very fast. Here's an example from an explosion animation I made in the past. There are all sorts of parameters that can be randomized using seeds. The rotation of trails, the scale of trails, the displacement of the explosion in different textures, and uh, there can be more. If you want to make this into a modifier and a copy with the object, you will need a single global seed. That's why I made the index seed preset. With this node, you can input a single seed and to get four different seeds out of it ready to plug into different random value nodes. And uh, this can be exposed to the group input so that you can access in the modifier panel. There are also some extra options to offset the seed. And if you need more than four, you can just, uh, you can just uh, duplicate the node and uh, change the offset. And uh, all the new seeds will be completely different. Even though this looks like a general purpose utility for the whole node tree, the main reason I originally created it was for use in loops, like repeat zone or for each element. This time it's still about our explosion setup. I just include all of it in a single node group and trying to duplicate it in geometry nodes using loop for each element. I've talked about this in instance variation tutorial. For details, you can watch the old tutorial. For now, you can you just need to know I'm running a loop that instancing explosions along this curve. And uh, right now, these explosions are the same. To add variations, I can change the seed using this loop index. It's important to notice that it works well because internally we already have this index seed attached to the seed. Therefore, each random value or noise in this node will get a completely different seed each loop. That's it. Uh, this isn't a preset that gets talked about very often in tutorials, but it's something I use frequently in real-world projects. I hope you find this useful, and I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.